Hello and welcome back to Pixel Game Maker Tutorial. Today is a Patreon request from Rodrigo who wanted to see a three-step combo attack. And as with most of these Patreon requests, I did upload the sample project here. Patrons get this for free, so if you do want this, you do have access to this. So with that said, let's get started. So it's a real simple setup. We have a dummy enemy here and we have the player. If you go over here, you can see that the enemy just has very simple logic. Now there is one hit where it actually starts to spin up. And you can see that I did this by when hit at attack detection and set its attack attribute right here. You'll see where we change this to one in, in later here, but you can see that you can just have a real easy differentiating of reaction depending on what the attack attribute is. So now let's just go to the player where the actual combo happens. And you can see that I've just set up my, my player just to be very structured and organized. I have the idle and walk logic right here. And then you have the jump, fall, and melee attack right here. And so basically what I did is when you jump, you fall. And then also you can lead to fall. So everything that you can lead to from idle and walk, I just have color coded green. And so that way I can just easily tell them from these nodes right here. But one of them is the melee attack one. And so if we go here, you can see that we have to, you know, press X. And the first thing that it does is it changes the attack settings and it changes it to an attribute of zero. And what this says is that this is how it resets to say that this is a normal attack, just a normal attack zero. I like to, I like to actually make the attack detection happen when the attack hits the animation. You can see right there, that's when it hits. And then I actually, I disappear it really quick within three frames. The reason why is because my enemies, they have very little invincibility time. They have a 0.2 invincibility time. And so I want to make sure that my attacks are happening just real quick. And then it gives them time to cool down to have my next combo attack on them. And you might think it might feel weird that you don't actually hit the whole time, but it actually doesn't feel that bad. All right, that's how the attacks go or animations anyway. And if we go back here, so again, we reset the attack setting to zero for the um, attribute. And what this is doing is it's setting the attribute. So it's actually, it's taking this attribute right here and it's setting this. And so technically you could do attack settings or you could do change switch and you could do this and it would work just the same. You could say attack attribute equals zero. So maybe this would be better because look right here, you can just read it really easy. And so maybe that would be better than attack settings. However, I just wanted to show that you can do this. All right, so now going back to the, let's do the link out in back to idle first. And this is if the motion just plays to the end. So that's all that happens is there was no other button pressed. The attack played to the end of the motion, boom, it's gonna go back to idle and that's gonna reset your attack. Otherwise, if you press X, and this is no acceptable frame. And you can run into issues with using acceptable frames because it could count towards the next one, which can be a little dangerous. So I actually wanted to do this kind of a setup instead. So the it's one frame acceptable, and it's on press. And it could be pressed too if you really wanted it to be, but I think it would catch too much. So on press, one frame, and then what it does is it goes to a takeover motion, but it, it preps for the attack too. And that that's how I ended up wanting to do it. And then after its motion ends, then it goes to attack melee two. And you can see that we just repeat this step. Either the motion ends with no input and it goes back to idle, or else there's an input again with one frame. And then if so, it goes to a takeover motion of that same attack and it's prepping for attack three. And then after motion displays, it goes to attack three. And this one sets the attack setting to one. So this is going to be that third combo hit basically. And then you can see that I simply do a move towards direction. And this is just to show that you can do whatever you want in these attacks. And also, if you wanted to do more, you could just have these attacks be, be bigger. This is the, more, the most compact version you could have but you could have more actions and more actions depending on how many you need and then just have the input detection be at the relative action that you want it 
to be detected at. And so that's really it for the combo system. I don't know what more to go over other than it works and it looks, it, it works and feels pretty good. And yeah. Yeah, if there's any questions, comments below, Steam Forms will get you figured out. And with that said, I'll see you at the next video.